Installing Windows 7 on a computer running Windows XP requires more steps than the typical upgrade. And we'll be honest, it could take a couple of hours. But by following this tutorial, you'll know what to do each step of the way. Hi, I'm Kelly Eichmeyer, a Senior Program Manager on the Windows team. In the next few minutes, I'll show you what you need to get started and give you an overview of the process. Each page of this tutorial has important details that you'll need to follow carefully. We recommend printing it out since the installation process restarts your computer. But before we begin, there are two very important points in this process you need to be aware of. First, because you have to choose the custom option to install Windows 7, I need to tell you that this option does not keep your files and settings. This means you'll need to copy your files and settings off of your computer before you install Windows 7, and then move them back after the installation is complete. To copy your files, we recommend an external hard drive like this, and a free download called Windows Easy Transfer. It moves your files, settings, and even your user accounts to the external hard disk, and then transfers them back to your computer later. If you don't have an external hard disk, be sure to manually save your files somewhere else, like on CDs or DVDs instead. The second thing to know is that the custom option doesn't preserve your programs either. It's often called a clean install for that reason. So you'll need to reinstall by hand any programs you want to use in Windows 7. And you'll need your original installation disks or setup files for programs you downloaded from the Internet. Now that you know what to do beforehand, Let's look at the five basic phases to install Windows 7 on a computer running Windows XP. First, make sure your PC's hardware is ready by downloading the free Windows 7 Upgrade Advisor. If it finds any potential issues, it'll tell you what to do about them. Second, move your files and settings off of your computer to an external location. Again, we recommend Windows Easy Transfer and an external hard disk to help simplify the process. Third, install Windows 7 and choose the custom option during installation. And then, after Windows 7 is fully installed, use Windows Easy Transfer again to move your files and settings back to your computer. And finally, reinstall the programs you want to use in Windows 7 and use Windows Update to reinstall any necessary drivers. We know there are a lot of steps to follow and decisions to make. So be sure to print out the tutorial and follow it as you go. And soon you'll be enjoying and exploring Windows 7 on your own.